Yo, so we back in here for another edition of F Your Mother. And, well, I'm going to just let y'all check it out. This is the latest salon that's facing a complaint from Jessica Yaniff, the transgender woman who's already complained to BC's Human Rights Tribunal about 15 other salons, complaints that were dismissed. And in three of those, she was fined fines she has yet to pay. In this latest case, Yaniff sent the salon these Facebook messages in August asking about waxing services. First a Brazilian, then just a leg wax, adding she's transgender. The salon's owner, a practicing Sikh, told her they only waxed women. You're asking for an East Indian woman who is an adherent to the Sikh religion to take somebody who has a biological male body into the back of the salon and have that person disrobe from the waist down and then have this individual, the service provider, provide this very personal service. Yana filed a complaint two months later claiming discrimination. She wants $25,000 for the injury to her dignity and self-respect. It's a similar pattern to some of her previous 15 complaints, behavior that the Human Rights Tribunal found to be in bad faith, motivated by a desire to target small businesses for personal financial gain. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of Your Mother because of YouTube's guidelines. I'm going to try to keep this clean and I'm going to try to give an objective opinion on both sides. We'll start with the, the man-woman. Um... He should be able to get a Brazilian wax, right? It's called a Brazilian wax. What are Indian Sikhs doing doing Brazilian waxes? That's kind of weird. You should probably rename your organization Indian Wax and, or something of that nature. Not Brazilian wax. If it's a Brazilian wax, it should be done by a Brazilian establishment. That, that's what I would think. And it's like, this is where capitalism and personal biasness like runs into itself because capitalism it has no moral base so whether your religious beliefs dictate that that's a weird lifestyle or whatever you're in it for the money and as a business owner i ain't turning down nothing but my collar however i argue the indian establishment's position they should be allowed to discriminate who they want to offer service to based on the fact that not necessarily off of religious beliefs, but the fact that it's a man with a man pole. They probably don't want to wax around somebody's 10 inch candy cane. Not only that, they don't know if this person is working with a full deck. They could possibly be a psycho. They could possibly try to assault the person doing the waxing. We don't know. If I went into a place and wanted to get the hairs around my my seven inch candy cane <laughs> waxed it probably would be some apprehension also and the fact that people from other countries like namely india or west asia the middle east they just don't adhere to that line of thinking they i'm sorry it is what it is the tribunal said that the person possibly could be and i'm paraphrasing here scamming for financial gain that's a possibility i'm not saying that's what that person is trying to do but they possibly could be and if they are, yeah, you get fined for that. Because in the world of worlds, sometimes there may be a person out there scheming and this could be a scheme to get paid, right? You go in there saying that you're a trans woman, knowing that they're going to discriminate and then you file lawsuits trying to get money out of them. It's all convoluted, really. I think so. Once again, I think the person should just go to a place that actually does men waxes. Save the to save the, 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 the trouble but no some of these people that are transgender are hell-bent on being seen as what they believe they are and let's just say everybody in the world doesn't adhere to your line of thinking or don't have whatever perceived mental illness that you may be having or suffering from so i think both parties have their you know what i'm saying argument i think the the the, the city's tribunal finding a woman was the possibility that she he or whatever could be scamming let's just get that out the way you might be scheming and scamming and bamming so we gonna find you because we think that you're trying to come up and like i said the the probable solution to this is ma'am ma'am mister whatever just go to a place that waxes men it ain't that hard i wish a lot of these trans people just stop making situations more troublesome than they really are. This is a simple 
solution to this. Go to where they wax men. If you want to get your bougie cat or your, your man bush wax, there are places for that. And that's all I got. In any event, if you like this episode, subscribe, turn the notifications on, like, comment, and share. If you didn't like my analysis on him, I don't know what to tell you. F your mother. Also, leave a comment at the bottom. I want to hear what y'all think about this. Am I wrong? Are they wrong? Is this man bitch wrong? We don't know. It's just like who shot Tupac? We'll just never know. In any event, I'm out. No.